Good. How are you? Good, man. So, uh, this is super annoying, man. Uh, I added those new ads and I got four sales and none of them tracked, but I didn't change anything with the pixel. Okay. Go to the ad and then hit edit. Uh, these three. And then scroll all the way to the bottom. That's your website there. Is that right? Yep, yeah, that's right. Okay. It's the exact same as uh, like let's take this one, like this one. This track sales. Oh, yeah. This one. It could be delayed oh, by three days, but um. Yeah, it is. Three days. Oh, really? Yeah, that's the exact same. Okay. Um, go to your Shopify. Yeah, I mean, I see the sales. They're coming in. Yeah. But I don't know what to cut. I don't know what to really do. Without so the data. what you're going to have to do is like, you're going to have to add UTM parameters to be able to understand it for now. What's that? Go to your ads manager. Click on like an ad that you don't think is performing well. Like that. Uh, you have, because it has no clicks. Which one? Oh, this one? Yeah, it has no clicks yet. So we can edit that Yeah, it's only spent 10 cents. Perfect. Yeah, we're going to edit it. Okay. And then what you'll do is scroll all the way to the bottom. And then like hit build a URL parameter. And then like campaign source, just type in Facebook. And then for the campaign medium, select that. And then do ad set uh, name. And then just hit apply and that's gonna hit apply. And then go to your shop fire real fast before you publish this. And like scroll all the way to the bottom and look in the bottom right. So you see sales attributed to marketing, it'll pop up there and you like can view the report of where those came from. Oh, really? Yeah. So go to your eyes. It doesn't track 100%, but it's gonna track better than what you're tracking now. Okay. And then just hit publish. Okay. That's all I have to do? Yeah. And it'll, or I guess it won't show the ad set, right? It's gonna show the ad set. We added your ad set name. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. This is kind of confusing, not gonna lie. Yeah, no, I mean, it's more complicated way of tracking for sure. It's more advanced, but I mean, like, this is gonna help a little bit better over time as you start to understand what it is you just did. Yeah, should I do this with uh, every single one? Uh, whenever you create new ads, yes, but I wouldn't change anything as of right now. Okay. Um, so don't even do it for this one or the other ad sets? No, you can do it for the other one. Do it for all the bad ads, but I wouldn't change your good ones yet. Oh, all the bad ones. Okay. Yeah, like I would just see, yeah, like the ones that really have no spin at all, but that white one I think is going to perform really well. Okay. Yeah, go Sorry, to just so I... Okay, we're here. Well, you said you were about to ask something. I was. Uh, I was just going to ask if you could just explain exactly what we did because I'm still kind of confused about it. It's a UTM parameter. So essentially whenever somebody purchases, it submits that data, that URL parameter we typed in on the ad. You saw that? It said like Facebook, UTM, Medium. Mm-hmm. That means like ad set information as well as the, where it came from, which is like Facebook. And so whenever somebody purchases on your site, not 100% oh. of the time, but it's going to attribute it because it's picking up that UTM parameter. Data. I see. Okay. So by clicking ad set name, that's basically taking the ad set name from Facebook and putting it here. Yeah. But it doesn't work okay. 100% of the time either, but it's certainly better than you not seeing any results at all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was just surprised because uh, we looked at last week's and it didn't track like 30% of the sales, but four in a row seems weird. Yeah, there's a three day delayed period for getting data back from Apple. So there's a good chance oh, those show up three days later. Oh, I didn't even know that because everything's shown up like half an hour after is what I've noticed. Yeah, well, More if they opted out, it's going to take longer. Got it. Okay. And they might be fully opted out, so you'll never get that data. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, scroll up. Row, seems... Is your conversion rates back up now? Uh, this is the week today. So this is Monday through today. Yeah. And what'd you spend? Uh, like 81. In that same time period? I think that the ROAS would be better than that. Oh, wait, no, was... oh wait, that's just that. Yeah, 81. Yeah. Yeah. You need to get better cost per purchase 
Agreed. Um, but that comes with like cutting shit, and I, didn't, I don't even know what to cut. Yeah, you need that data in here. Yeah. Um, go to the Shopify again. Did any of those turn into upsells? Uh, really small ones, but not the main one. Is your small upsell like three bucks? It's like four. Can you raise that some more? I can, yeah. I was thinking about that. Yeah, just a couple more dollars. But I mean, like you still need more products. Have you gotten around to doing that? I haven't. Um, yeah, let me let me work on that. Okay. But would I add would I add those to the funnel? You think? Yeah, uh, you can, but also to your site as well. Okay. There's one more thing I want to check. Go to your ads manager because, like, if you have a five point six three, which is really good, get, do yeah. performance and clicks. Let's see where your click through rate is because if we drive up your click through rate, we might be able to counterbalance this in terms of ROAS. Yeah, your click through rates are low. So, like. You know how, now go to those new ads you published. Let's look at those click-through rates. See, the, the new ones already have a little bit higher, it looks like. This one's good. Yeah. Are these the only ones? Yeah, these three. Okay. Yeah, if we can it's try also, to click through I, don't, I, mean, I don't know if it's like a though. frequency issue too, because, uh, oh, it's actually, well, if we go to maximum. Like this one's already hitting two. I just only spent. Go to your campaign bucks. level. Create a retargeting. Hit create. Let me just do this real fast. So what you'll do is like to get your frequencies back down on cold. We're just gonna launch a retargeting that because then it'll work itself out, and you also are probably good for retargeting now. We'll just do a large stack for you since you don't have a lot of data. It would just be like a purchase campaign, you know? Yep. And then what we do is- you Use the same have, ads or no? Uh, yeah. And then what we're gonna do is just do like $3. Okay. Um, and then all we're gonna do is just add in. It should already exist. Page you 180 days. Is it from your Shopify? Uh, it's the same pixel. So I took the same okay. pixel from lead pages to Shopify. All right. What else do you have in here? Or should we do 30 days? No, we're just doing a big one. Okay. You don't have any other things outside of that. Okay. And then we'll do like a video of people who did 25% watch time. And then you'll just choose those videos. What's your- How are you doing, how are you doing this so fast? You yeah, go to uh, that one, yeah. What happened? Yeah, that's that one. All right. And then we'll just do confirm. Oh, wait, take that last one out though, because that's a different product. Yeah, that one. All right, so now that's in there. We'll add one more. I'm just going to be Facebook. Do you run ads on Instagram? Yeah. Oops. Didn't mean to click that. That's all right. Goodness, now everything. Yeah, I do, uh, I do automatic placements, so that includes Instagram. All right, now you have that. So, I mean, I just named this like. And then you can just go ahead and. 
Yeah, save the draft here. Close it. And we're just going to delete this ad specifically. And then just copy paste the other ones. Yeah. You haven't stacked your social engagement, have you? I have. It didn't look like it. Like, for That's instance, cool. this one didn't look like it had the ID in it. Like, you okay. should hit use existing. That stacks this thing. Yeah, I copy pasted. On, I basically, I, uh, I did it like in the video that you sent me. Well, you got to watch it again because you didn't do it right. Yeah, I must have not. But I, I thought I added the ads to one ad set and then copy pasted them into the other ones. Yeah, no, you got to first turn it to the use existing. Go rewatch the video one more time and then, like, okay. that's what you'll end up doing. And then make sure to name these because new ad one, new ad two, you're never going to find out what works unless you go look at it and waste, you know, three minutes clicking. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then this is when you paste it because look what happens now. It actually shows the use existing and it actually kept everything here. And now anytime people like it, it'll actually stay there. And that's uh, how you gain yeah. momentum. Fuck, so I haven't been doing that for any of them. No, you haven't. Okay. Uh, All right, I did one for you, but you're gonna have to go rewatch that video to, you know. Yeah, that's fine. And then you just name this like, it's like CBO targeting stack. And you would literally just put every single one in there? Uh, I would just do the white, black, and those other two videos. Oh, so I wouldn't do that yellow else. one. I don't think that yellow one's gonna do anything, dude. Really? No. I was thinking it's a, uh, what's it called? A pattern interrupt because the bright color. Well, I mean, you can test it. I just, white and black, I know I have a chance. White's okay. gonna work, black can work. Yeah, okay. All right, so yeah, there, there's that. And then you should be good to go on that. Just put those ads, stack them, and then you can use that tracking method and then just get some more products on your site. Okay, sweet. And that'll fix the frequency thing too? Yeah, it'll take a couple of days for it to reverse. Okay, gotcha. No problem. All right. Bye, Wes. Thank you.